wholeheartedly. Heartedly. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. Because I know myself that I am a girl trapped in a man's body. Something yeah. Oh, 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 Hello everyone, we are the students of Negros Oriental State University and we are making this vlog to interview some of the members of LGBTQ plus community with regarding to their struggles and experiences in showcasing their real identity. This pride community was actually founded way back 1965 to let the people know that they also existed and being mistreated. This caused an uproar worldwide and by that various state laws were being implemented to protect their rights, especially on discrimination on account of gender and sex. But despite of these laws protecting them, various members are still hesitant to show their real identity because they are afraid that people will still judge them and will not accept them in the community. Well, I can't wait to hear if how our guests will respond to this set of questions that we prepared for them. But before we will start the interview proper, let me first introduce to you the rest of our team. Hello everyone! We are from the Group D. And today, we are going to conduct an interview to one of the members from LGBTQ Plus Community. By the way, my name is Primo. And I'm John Ray. And I'm Joseph. And I am Vivian. I am Teresa. I'm Abigail. Hi guys, my name is Earl. My name is Jeffrey. And I'm Bonafi Dayan. To interview our first guest, we traveled a 20 minute ride to the location. We first met up at the Freedom Park of Gihulnan City and went to Sitio Bato, Barangay Malusay, Gihulnan City. After a long ride, we finally arrived to the location. Hello guys! So finally, na about na sa place ni uh, Jojen to conduct the interview. So let's go! So, our guest for today is a graduate of Bachelor in Elementary Education, year 2015 at North Road, Gihulian, and currently connected at Local Government Unit of Gihulian City in the City of Social Welfare Development Office. A licensed professional teacher. Out and proud, being gay, no other than Mr. Jojen Ginaldo. Hello sir, good day. Good day sir, good afternoon, and how are you? Oh yes, I'm doing good, thank you. How about you? I'm fine and good. Love this weather today, it's a windy day. <laughs> oh yes, very nice weather indeed. Um, so yeah, today we actually prepared you a set of questions. 
uh, this is in regards to your uh, identity, you know, being a member of the LGBT, LGBTQ plus community. So are you ready? Very ready and ready to answer your questions. Alright, great. That's good to hear. So let's start with our first question. So when and how did you discover that you're a member of LGBTQ plus community? When did I discover since I was six years old? Uh, we live in Cebu City at that time and how did and how um, accepting myself na kanagan yung Murabudula na kung mga paper dolls then Udula o ka ng pambabayi ng mga things like Chinese, Chakai and anything etc. Basta pambabayi na kita kung itong dula mga pusil-pusil is set aside hindi na Oh, I see. Thank you so much. So, it means that uh, when you grow up as a kid, so you already realize yeah. that you know, your heart doesn't belong to a man, but it's for a man. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Alright, thank you so much. So, here's our second question. What are the struggles that you face along the way? Struggles? Many. Like discrimination, mm -hmm. and not accepting the society for being gay, but... But conquering those struggles is I am here, standing here, out and proud to be here. Wow, that's really good to hear. Thank you so much. And our third question is, uh, how did your family, or have you ever uh, consulted your family about this? And if ever, how did they accept your identity? Or did they even accept it? Just at first, I didn't tell my parents that I am gay, but they already know because mother knows best or our parents know best. Right. Who their children is, they know already that I am gay. They're very supportive in everything that I do, and so all sayo sayo, kanta kanta, and everything. They are proud of me. Wow, very. That's yeah. that's uh, so overwhelming to hear, you know, na, uh, there are families out there, parents out there who are very supportive to their kids or children, despite of you know uh, the struggles that we have with the identity. So, because uh, some of the parents, uh, they are like uh, maltreating their children. Yeah. You know, they call them, you know, uh, uh, what we call that, like. You know, water, kay Serena, lagi ko noon, ba? So, you know, but yeah, hearing from your part that they are very supportive to you, that's very good to hear. Yes. And we're so happy to hear that as well in our part. So, and here's the fourth question. So, how did you accept yourself? Or, yes, so how did you accept yourself as a uh, being a gay? I accept myself for being gay. Um, what is all this? Na kanagani, di mo na just ang accept na gay ko, proud ko, hearted, wholeheartedly. Yeah. Because I know myself that I am a girl trapped in a man's body. <laughs> <laughs> but ano, ano na kita siya? Kaya mo na kita siya since ko I'm in. I'm not ko aman po. Bopo ko galiso niya magaccept sa ko ko galingan because I am true and very ano compassionate ko na. Inani ko na inani ko but wala mo po ko ng one of tao mga inana proud of it very nice thank you so much and by the way do you have like is it uh, like uh, genetical to you or do you have like some family members who are uh, gays or lesbians um for me di, wala po no, wala so okay. just sa amo ang bloodlines I don't ah. know that we um na aming mga inani kaliwat or ah. something Maybe just environment. Ako sa ako alang is but environment ako ang koal ni mga mga gay ko because my friends are girls and I don't have much friends na boys. And I was in Cebu when I was still a kid. And until up until now, more of my friends are girls. Oh, I see. So yeah, that's actually what we learned in this subject as well because as we grow up. It's either our genes that affects us or the environment itself. Environment. So, yes. That's really good to hear. So, 
And then uh, the next question. So you mentioned a while ago about uh, discrimination. So you have already experienced a lot of it. So how did you conquer those types of discrimination? Or what are the steps or ways that you do in order for you to step through? Nga, up until now, you're still fighting. You're still showing up yourself that, of course, this is me. Cool. So yeah, how did how did you do it? Hoping those discriminations. Think. Just ignore them. Hindi uh, mo na sila kailangan imong pagdon because you know already who who is who am I? I know already who am I, and I accept myself that I am a gay, and I'm standing here that example I'm a professional teacher yes. now, but ano? Hindi mo just siya malikayan nga na-adjo siya yung mga inana. Pero i-ignore na gina sila kay. And the point is, if you will kanina, nyo siyang i-adapt sa ibang kaugalingo ng mga discrimination din, you will not grow as a person. Dili po di mo ma-share ang imuhang, ma-share ni mo ang imuhang ka ng passion sa ibang kaugalingo ng being a gay. So, ignore them and have faith in the, in the Lord. Thank you for giving me this life. Wow. Thank you so much for that. And this is actually our last question. Huh? So, what is your message to all the uh, LGBTQ plus members who are also struggling to know and show their real identity? My message to all LGBTQ Laban lang taday! Ayaw ra mo pag gaduha po Accept yourself, know yourself, and love yourself, and know your worth. Proud and out, ni inani jud ka. Na kaauban ta sa rainbow community. Who put smile on their faces, ni inana. Dapat din niyo ikawaw niyo sa abalino. And proud of you. Alrighty, thank you so much. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Uh, Joe Jin Donaldo, thank you so much, sir, for the opportunity that you gave to us, you know, to share your uh, experiences in life as well, you know, uh, being a member of LGBTQ plus community. So, yep, once again, thank you so much and have a nice day. Sir. Thank you. And I see your true color shining through. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. Hearing those thoughts and experiences is such a beautiful thing because despite of the struggles that Jojen had, he was still able to reach his dreams and rise to the top. Due to the bad weather and distant location, we were not able to interview our second guest personally. But these things does not hinder us and we were still able to get in touch with him virtually. Our second guest is much more of being a secretive type of person and he wishes that his face and identity not to be revealed but he allowed us to address him using his first name which is James. So yes, so James, uh, we actually prepared here a set of questions for you. So uh, these questions are regarding to uh, what are the struggles that you have uh, being a member of the LGBTQ plus community and in showcasing yourself and, you know, uh, showcasing your real identity. So yes, are, are you ready for the questions? I think so, yeah. <laughs> All right, great. All right, then, yep, let's go ahead and start with the first question. So, the first question, James, when and how did you discover that you're a member of LGBTQ community? Okay, it pretty much started or like I figured out when at a very young age actually. Um, I was in elementary. 
I think I was in grade five when I knew. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> so okay then. So thank you for that answer of yours. Uh, our next question is about struggles. So we all know that about this matters, no one is exempted, right? So we want to know the struggles that you encountered along the way about with regards about who you are. Okay. Um I'm sorry, I'm pretty much nervous being asked. But okay. Uh, <laughs> I understand. It's okay, no problem. Take your time, James. I think the struggles that I um encountered along the way is actually there's a lot. Um but mainly of course um the discrimination. Um because you know um not not all of the people can accept people like like me, like us. There's a lot of us in this um world. And so I think it's um it's it's really the acceptance of the people um, that's been the struggle to every member, I am pretty sure. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, James. And let's proceed to the third question. Um, how did your family accept your real identity or did, did, did they accept it? Um, okay, here's a funny story. Um, actually, because, you know, um, there's, like, um, people with, or, like, people of the, of our community. They have, like, this, um, I would say emotional coming out um, to their family, and I did not experience that because when I came out to my, it, I did not come out to my family first. It was my f best friend's mother. She was the one who first accepted me. And after I did that, I told my family about it. And they were actually kind of accepting. And because um, I think they, they knew from the very beginning that I'm, you know, I'm colorful. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, th okay, thank you for, for that, James. Oh, for the first question, how did you accept your I'm sorry, how did I accept myself? Oh. How did you Okay. Um, I honestly do not know how to answer that question. <laughs> I accepted myself because I had to. <laughs> is that is that is that valid enough? Um, yeah, I don't know how to answer that question, but yeah, and like, <laughs> well, um, it's not like I have a choice not to accept myself. You know, you get what I mean. Like, yes. Yeah, um, that's a hard question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I did, I did accept myself because I didn't have a choice. Yes, yes, that's truly understandable. I mean, um, they always say that our self is, I mean, our self is very complicated, you know, especially. During these days, I mean, in your part, you're having some struggles in your your identity as well. So yes, yeah, it's it's really and it's really also hard. um uh -huh. yeah, you know, it's it's not like because I know other people won't accept me, so mm. it's for me to accept myself, you know. Indeed, <laughs> that's right. Okay, for thank you for that, James. So for our next question is, is there any discrimination against your identity? And how did you cope up or conquer with that discrimination? 
Thank you for that question. <laughs> um, as mentioned earlier, the discrimination is um, the struggle, the main struggle that I experienced um, being like this. And yes, there, of course, was a lot of discriminations from, you know, growing up as gay. And in school, um, especially when I was in elementary, not everybody was accepting, not everybody accepted me for who I am. But how I cope up with it is maybe um, my choice of circle, my close friends, circle of friends that I chose. It's really um, the, the way that helped me accept and love me more, if I must say because I had a lot of people surrounding me that loves me for who I am. So, yeah. All right. That's, that's really good to hear. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for that response, uh, James. And let's go to the, the last and final question. So, what is your message to all the LGBTQ plus uh, members who are also struggling to know and show their real identity. Whew. Um, okay. As a member of the LGBTQ community as well, I myself am still struggling and still exploring the world more, exploring mm -hmm. our community more. And I'm not that exposed to this yet. But if there's something that I could tell my fellow people <laughs> um, is just be yourself because if you're being yourself then people will be very accepting for who you are because you're showing the real you and um, love yourself more because not everyone you cannot please everyone mm -hmm. and so also uh, take your time there is no pressure if you're not ready to come out yet because you know in this society right now there's like a lot of um genders bisexual transsexual stuff like that and if you're not if, if you're one of us and you're not yet sure of what and who you really are then there's no pressure in that um come out when you're ready come out to whom you're comfortable saying that you're this and you're that and just yeah just take time and just be happy always that's that's all all right there you have it thank you so much uh, james for um answering all these questions and also uh giving us your thoughts and knowledge sharing us your experiences as well on how you struggle and how you conquer all those uh discriminations that you faced all through the way until uh, in your current situation. So once again, thanks so much for your time. We really appreciate that. And uh, just keep on fighting. Just uh, don't hesitate and never uh, doubt your worth and keep on raising the banner of pride colors. Thank you so much. So uh, thank you for your time, sir, James. Messages. You're welcome. Thank you for the time, James, and God bless you. God bless you as well. Thank you. Thank you for your response, James, and God bless you as always. God you bless too. you. Thank you, James, for opportunity, and we learn a lot. Learn a lot from your experience. Laban lang good sa dayon. Thank you, God bless you. Laban. Thank you. So thank you so much for today, James. And continue, just continue being who you are and don't afraid to show yourself. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the time and cooperation, sir. Continue doing a good things in your life and don't mind what people say about you and be proud of yourself, sir. And stay humble and don't be shy to show your real identity, sir. Thank you and God bless, sir.
Thank you for guesting on our interview. God bless. Thank you also, everyone, for the opportunity. You are the first few people that asked me to be interviewed um, regarding this issue. So, yeah, uh, it's great to help. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. So, I guess... Uh, that's pretty much it. So once again, James, thank you so much for giving us the little amount of your time. And yep. keep safe out there. Sure. God bless you. Honor. Love and love. And I see your true color shining through. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. Hello guys, we would like to take this opportunity to express our deepest gratitude to all the people behind this vlog, especially to our guests, Mr. Jujin Dinaldo and Mr. James. Thank you for the time and opportunity to be with us. Thank you for sharing your experiences and struggles and how you accepted yourself as being who you are. You two showed us how brave and strong you are to cope up and conquer it all. We learn a lot from your stories that even if the world showed cruelty, but you guys still find a way to stand out. And that's it. Just always continue to be as an inspiration to all of us. On behalf of the entire team, to all the members of the LGBTQ plus out there, we salute you all. We love. We care. We respect. And also to the rest of the team, thank you for the cooperation and time and effort to make this interview successful. Keep safe. Keep safe. Keep safe. Keep safe. Keep safe, everyone. Have a pleasant day, everyone. God bless.